Good morning and welcome to Health Talk, sponsored by Mon General Hospital. This program is designed to provide education on vital health topics to help you take charge of your health. You'll also be introduced to Mon General's committed physicians, allied healthcare professionals, and quality programs and services. And now, here are your Health Talk hosts, Kay Murray and Jim Stallings. Welcome to Health Talk, brought to you by Mon General Hospital every Thursday morning at 8.35 here on WAJR. I'm Jim Stallings, along with Kay Murray. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, James. And today's guest is Dr. Rashid Latif, and his practice is located at Women's Health Care of Morgantown. And today's topic is pre uh, Kay? Preeclampsia. Okay. Thank you. That's what today's topic is about. That's it. That's right. pre Preeclampsia. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy. Uh, which is a really serious condition sometimes that can happen uh, during pregnancy. Uh, any, preg- any pregnant woman can, affi- can be affected by this uh, condition, and it can have serious uh, effect on the baby and the mother, too. What are some of the symptoms? The main, main symptoms of uh, preeclampsia is the high blood pressure. Uh, sometimes the mother can notice that, Sometimes it only can be checked uh, during a visit, her uh, regular prenatal uh, care visit to the, hosp- uh, to the office. Uh, this is why every time we really, uh, any preg- pregnant woman comes to the office, we have to check their blood pressure. Uh, the other main symptoms are there other than the blood pressure, which is the swelling. Uh, the swelling, which is uh, uh, the pregnant woman can notice uh, it's swelling it's generalized tw- swelling, mainly of the uh, lower uh, legs, but it can be also of hands, face, uh, swelling of all of the body. So pregnant woman, if she noticed that, especially late in pregnancy, uh, she should really contact the physician just to check to be sure whether she's having that condition. Uh, the other uh, uh, symptoms, which is also a third thing we really look for in preeclampsia, which is uh, those women also start having protein in the urine. And this is why also during visits, due regular visits uh, to the office, we always check uh, the protein in the urine. So the main three things, which is the swelling, which is the mother might notice, the other, which is uh, the blood pressure, which is the most serious part of the preeclampsia or toxemia of the pregnancy, which is the really high blood pressure that might happen uh, for the pregnant woman. And the third, which is if uh, we check for the protein in the urine, which is another sign of the uh, preeclampsia. Do these symptoms occur in uh, later trimesters or in early trimesters? Uh, that's a good question because in most cases of this uh, condition, it happens later in pregnancy. Very, very rare that it happens really er- early in pregnancy. Most of the time, it's very late in pregnancy or the last month of the pregnancy. Uh, this is why uh, even uh, with pregnant women, we always start uh, try to see them much more frequent the late, later part of pregnancy, like every two weeks or even every week the last month, because we really want to be sure that we detect that condition very early so we can treat it very early before it really can cause serious conditions to the mother and also to the baby too. Would some women be more predisposed to, to get um, preeclampsia than others? Uh, yes, I mean, any woman, any pregnant woman can uh, uh, can uh, uh, can uh, uh, have preeclampsia. Any woman, even if they don't have any any conditions, uh, so even if she's completely healthy, still she might develop uh, preeclampsia. But still, certain women we really watch more carefully for preeclampsia because uh, certain condition really predispose that pregnant woman to develop preeclampsia or high blood pressure uh, mainly uh, later in pregnancy. And there is certain conditions we really uh, watch for. One of them is like if the patient is having high blood pressure. So if somebody is already having high blood pressure, Mm -hmm. they're more predisposed that later in pregnancy they're going to develop preeclampsia. Other conditions like if she developed preeclampsia in the first pregnancy, then also that puts her on a little bit higher risk also in developing preeclampsia on the second one, more risk than somebody who never developed preeclampsia. 
other things like if she's having multiple pregnancy like twins, uh, triplets, they also have higher chance for uh, preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy. Uh, if she's having uh, diabetes, which is also very important with diabetic patients mm -hmm. that we check really their uh, blood pressure, protein, uh, just to be sure they don't, don't develop uh, preeclampsia. So uh, again, any woman might develop preeclampsia, but if certain women we really watch even more carefully because they have higher chance uh, of developing preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy. Okay, now some women, you know, w women are having children later in life. Would age play into this? Would our body types play into that? If we're obese, if we've exercised less, would that all be part of it? That's a good question. In fact, it is higher chance for older women than uh, younger women. Uh, but again, it can happen with any, even younger women can develop it, but for sure high, older women, they have higher chance for uh, preeclampsia. Also obese women, uh, to start with even before pregnancy when they're obese, they are having higher chance for, for preeclampsia too. You have different theories of what can cause this. Uh, do you want to tell us some of the theories? In fact, uh, nobody knows 100% no one knows. Uh, what's causing preeclampsia. There is a lot of studies and a lot of papers talking about preeclampsia, but nobody knows what's causing preeclampsia. The only thing we know that it is a condition just can happen during pregnancy and it's pregnancy related. So uh, other than that, different theories, mm -hmm. but no exact reason that we can tell that's the cause of preeclampsia. If you catch it early, is it less dangerous than perhaps if we get too late into our pregnancy? Uh, for sure. Can you I control it? it? There is some control of the preeclampsia and mainly observation just to be sure that the patient doesn't go to the uh, stage of severe preeclampsia because if they get to the severe preeclampsia, it's really very dangerous to the mother and to the uh, baby. This is why uh, even when we detect preeclampsia, we really need to watch it very carefully. Uh, a lot of times we advise uh, the patient for rest and start watching the other symptoms so that be sure that she doesn't go into severe preeclampsia. Our number is 304-296-0041 if you want to ask a question today. We're uh, talking to our guest today is Dr. Latif. Murshid Latif. Yes, and this is Health Talk, brought to you by Mon General on WAJR. This is Mon General's Health Talk, providing the information you need to take charge of your health. Call us now with your health-related questions at 304-296-0041. Dr. Murshid Latif is our guest today. We're talking about preeclampsia and uh we talked about some of those uh, signs or symptoms. Obviously, we'll notice the swelling. We can't really notice the high blood pressure or the protein in the urine, right? Exactly. Unless we go to our doctor. Exactly. And this is why really going to the physician, especially later in pregnancy, is very, very important. Uh, because the mother, she might uh, notice the swelling. And sometimes she'll notice the severe swelling that it's not just on the legs. It's, it's uh, hands, face, everywhere. Uh, the other symptoms the mother might uh, notice is uh, severe headache, uh, dizziness. Uh, she might start having also uh, blurred uh, vision. Uh, so these things also the mother might uh, notice during pregnancy. Uh, if she noticed that, plus the swelling, for sure, she if she can check her blood pressure at home, that would be a good thing to do. If not, for sure, she need to let her physician know so that she can be checked. Because uh, on top of all these symptoms in the office, we can check her blood pressure to see if it's really high. Also, we can check the protein in the urine to see if it's, she starts spilling protein in the urine to see if she really having preeclampsia and then go uh, try to manage the preeclampsia. You mentioned the word severe. Uh, de tell us what the determination of when you say severe preeclampsia. Uh, uh, there is the preeclampsia. The preeclampsia can get really very severe, and whenever it gets severe preeclampsia, that's the situation. It really can affect also the mother and the fetus, uh, because with preeclampsia, the main thing is that it will affect the circulation, the blood circulation, to both the mother and also to the placenta. And when 
it affects the circulation to the placenta. It really affects the baby. It affects if for the if it stays for a long period of time, it even can cause a growth restriction. The growth of the baby can be affected, uh, and also the blood supply can be affected to the baby. Uh, so the baby will be in distress because of the uh, uh, less blood supply through the placenta. Also, the mother can be affected. Uh, all organs of the mother can be affected by the circulation, including the liver, the kidneys. Uh, uh, in severe preeclampsia, also, she can develop uh, more severe uh, side effects from severe preeclampsia, uh, which is really including like stroke or even uh, having convulsions or what we call eclampsia. Uh, so this is why we really need uh, always to watch for preeclampsia during uh, later in pregnancy uh, and see if she developed a severe preeclampsia, which is really there are certain things we know that uh, if we if, if we see we know that this patient start developing severe preeclampsia and it really needs immediate intervention by the physician uh, one of the main thing which is the high blood pressure the blood pressure starts getting very very high uh, not I mean just barely high uh, it, if it's like 160 usually we take o uh, over 110 or above that tells us that this patient start developing severe preeclampsia uh, also, the protein in the urine, either by checking it with the dipstick or 24-hour urine, it can tell us if she's pulling much more protein, and that's also one sign tells us if uh, she's developing uh, also severe preeclampsia. And the other, which is the, uh, the mother sh sometimes will tell us she start having very severe headache, uh, epigastric pain, uh, vomiting, uh, all this also signs that she might you're going to be able to recognize it then pretty clearly yes I because mean, when i think of the swelling all women have swelling particularly in in the last part of their pregnancy and we may not be able to determine that so we're really going to depend on our doctor to pick up on that of course with the urine test and the blood pressure all of that that's the great uh, point that uh, i don't want every woman start having swelling during pregnancy thinks that she's exactly. having preeclampsia because all women they will have some form of swelling uh, the swelling we're talking about it is really severe swelling not just swelling that has in the feet it's generalized swelling and it is swelling that doesn't go away with preeclampsia even in the face you said even in the face which is unusual has, exactly yeah. and it doesn't go away the regular swelling that happens sometimes it is mild swell swelling especially of the legs a lot of times uh, if uh, uh, the pregnant woman was on her feet for a long period of time or later in pregnancy she'll notice uh, some swelling uh, if she put her feet up uh, or uh, in the morning it goes away mm -hmm. those uh, this is a normal swelling not to worry about and think every, every woman will have uh, sure. preeclampsia but we're talking about the severe swelling generalized swelling uh, that doesn't go away and it keeps getting even worse and worse at that time, and especially if she starts having other symptoms like headache, uh, blurred vision, for sure it's a good idea to really check with her physician. But like what we said before, sometimes uh, the mother might not notice that. And the only f thing is this why the visit's important, that we check any visit, we check their blood pressure, we check for the swelling, we check for, for the protein for the urine, so we can really find out about this very early so we can evaluate it and treat it. In severe cases of preeclampsia, does the baby ever have to be delivered early or can you treat the mother and in, in the fetus before the delivery? Uh, I mean, for the preeclampsia in general, the, the only, only treatment, definite treatment would be delivery of the baby. Uh, in cases of mild preeclampsia, if, if, if it is mild preeclampsia, but the, it's the mother, she's really almost at her due date, uh, then we don't worry. I mean, the, we try to deliver the baby because she's almost due, and that we deliver the baby, and also that will relieve the mother uh, from the uh, condition of the preeclampsia or toxemia of pregnancy. Uh, the condition which is happened sometimes in severe preeclampsia, because in cases of severe preeclampsia, this is really can affect the mother and the baby seriously, and even they can affect their health and even their life too. So in severe preeclampsia, the definite treatment would be delivery regardless of the 
how far she is in the pregnancy. So if she's close to the due date, for sure delivery would be uh, the treatment. But in severe preeclampsia, even if it is preterm baby, we still have to deliver the mother because the condition will get worse and worse and might affect, again, the mother and the baby, too. We'll continue our conversation with Dr. Rashid Latif coming up in just a moment. This is Health Talk brought to you by Mon General on WAJR. The doctors, the latest news and procedures. Your local health connection is Mon General's Health Talk. If you'd like to be on the show, call 304-296-0041. Dr. Rashid Latif with the Women's Health Care of Morgantown and also on our Health Talk program brought to you by Mon General Hospital. Mild cases of preeclampsia, preeclampsia. That, that word. You you do it so well, but then again, that's your profession. Uh, mild cases, uh, uh, what is the treatment to alleviate that high blood pressure and the other symptoms? Yeah, I mean, again, the definite, definite treatment, even with mild preeclampsia, would be delivery of the baby. Uh, the only condition happens that sometimes uh, the, the mother will develop preeclampsia uh, not close to her due date. So if it is really preterm baby, uh, she's still 30 weeks, 32 weeks, and develop preeclampsia, uh, we really have to weigh the maturity of the baby. So we try not to deliver the baby that early if possible. Uh, so this is when we really try to really, uh, bed rest would be very important. Some uh, Sometimes we uh, decide even to admit to the patient to the hospital for bed rest uh, in the hospital. Sometimes we let them go home and have bed rest, but with frequent uh, visits to the office and observation, uh, trying to get the baby at least to be mature, then decide for the delivery of the patient. That's for the preeclampsia. Uh, uh, for the uh, severe preeclampsia, it has to be the delivery. Even if the baby is premature, we really, ha this baby has to be delivered for the sake of both the mother and the uh, fetus. Uh, the, the, the thing, Go ahead. The only thing is, is going to be uh, even managing this uh, patient even during labor uh, to control mainly their blood pressure also during this uh, period. After the delivery, and we have about a minute left, but after the delivery, will there be follow-up if mother and baby had a little rough time with preeclampsia, and after the delivery, will you have to be under medical care? Uh, it's very important to follow these patients even after delivery. Uh, some of these women, uh, the, uh, the blood pressure, it really gets much better just after delivery mm -hmm. and they do very, very well. But we know that uh, this condition after delivery, sometimes it they can take up to six weeks before it even gets better. Same for the baby? Uh, for the baby, usually it gets better after the delivery and uh, they do well after delivery. But for the mother, the blood pressure it can really continue. And uh, sometimes we really have to put the uh, uh, mother on blood pressure medication, uh, follow very, very closely to adjust how much we need to give her, depends on how is her blood pressure, until the condition resolves and the, uh, she goes back to normal. And this is why close follow-up after delivery for these mothers very, very important until the condition really completely resolved. Is preeclampsia common? It's it, it's it's common, especially it, for the first pregnancy more than the uh, f uh, pregnancies afterwards. Uh, but it can be up to 5% of those uh, mothers might develop preeclampsia. So something really to watch for uh, for the pregnant woman and also for the physician to look for. Obviously, uh, continue to see your doctor when you're pregnant, your OBGYN or whoever your uh, primary care provider is and uh, make sure that uh, you don't develop that preeclampsia. And if you do, you get treated. Thank you so much for being on the program with us sure, today. Thank you. Very informative. Dr. Rashid Latif brought to you by Mon General Hospital. This has been Health Talk on the Voice of Morgantown, full service 1440 WAJR.